Ladies and gentlemen, today we are DIY ceramic coating a 2022 hypersonic gray C8 Corvette. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today we are at my buddy Darren's garage because we are going to do a ceramic coating on his new C8R. If you remember, we did a video together back a couple months ago. He had a shark gray Z06 and he obviously got rid of that and now he has this brand new hypersonic gray C8. So with that being said, let's get into the video. He's gonna explain exactly step by step what we need to do to get his car prepared and ready for the ceramic coating and then we're going to show you each step of the way how we do that all right so we have some stuff laid out on this table here and he's going to explain yeah so we'll go over it so we can talk about ceramic coating first you know you and i and probably a lot of your viewers have talked about ceramic coating super popular it's kind of the new form of waxing, right? Nobody right. waxes their car anymore. So what does ceramic coating do? Obviously it protects your car. It, it's a it's a you know a hard, almost like a, I wouldn't say clear coating, but it is a, a sealant. It's gonna protect your car from just the standard road grime, uh, bird droppings. It's not gonna protect it from heavy rocks. It's not gonna prevent rock chips. It's not a, a, a expel product or right, like that. Right. But it is gonna give you protection <clears throat> from light scratches. The biggest thing, if you've ever ceramic coated a car, is when you clean it and the cleanup and just the general day-to-day -day maintenance, the dirt and dust just falls off of it. Yes, that it's, is correct. That alone is worth it. For me personally, in the past, I've had a couple cars professionally done. And as you're gonna see in the video, it's a little bit labor intensive, but if you lay it out, especially in our case, there's gonna be two of us, with two people doing the process, it moves pretty quick. And, again, and it's easier because it's a brand new car. It definitely, yeah. The sooner you can do it, the better. Uh, and that's where, I mean, the argument would be with professionals would be the grades of buffing compounds they're doing and the paint correction process. Right. We're going to do basically a two-stage uh, correction. There's going to be minimal that we have to do. The first step will be clay barring, and we're going to see, we're going to find a couple of imperfections. I mean, sure. we've already just seen a couple of Uncovered a few, right. And they're gonna be simple, uh, light buffing, and those will go away. But we'll, we'll show that so people can see. And, and generally speaking, you know, I bought three new vehicles in the last six months. Every single one has had some sort of, of manufacture right. defect on the paint sure. in multiple spots. So it happens. But the question is, you know, how much paint correction do you wanna do? It's really up to you, especially on a new car. Like I said, we do do this two stage. It's gonna, it's gonna be really good. You know, a professional may use some more heavier compounds where you start getting into that area where you could have issues of burning paint and whatnot. Right. The products we're gonna use today, and there's a lot of them out there. I'm a fan because I've, I've used these, and they're chemical guys. Sure. And very well known. Very well known. Mm -hmm. They've got really good customer support. The first time that I ceramic coated um, my truck. I mean, like a lot of people, I watched the videos and I still had some questions and I just picked up the phone and called them and they picked right up oh, wow. and answered the questions Nice. and said, call us back if you have any questions. So I felt comfortable doing it myself because like a lot of people, I was intimidated. I'm not going to lie. Of course. Like, yeah. you know, I, I was fine using the buffer. I've done that since I was a kid, but the ceramic coating, I just felt like from what I'd heard, if you screw things up, there's no going back. And I found out that's not the case because right. you, you could make a mistake. And when I say mistake, it likely means when you put the ceramic coating on and you think you've taken it off, you've missed a spot and there'll be a little blotch, a little sure. blotch. And there's, it's very easy to get that off. So that's not a problem. But like I said, using their products, and I'm sure you're gonna link up everything in your video. Absolutely. But they're really good about all their compounds on their sites, everything. If you go to it, they'll have instructions, you click on it and they've got really good YouTube videos and they break it down as well. And the way they built their products for the do-it-yourself folks like our, us, they built these so guys can't get themselves in trouble with burning paint and, and that kind of thing. But we've got basically, we'll just break it down. Here's what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick wipe down of the car. The car is clean. We've washed it yesterday, um, but we'll just do a quick, quick wipe down. We're going to use something different. And this is just something I've used for years. It's called Chadwick's triple play. Cool. But then there's other brands out there. This is like Ford, Chevy, Dodge, right? Like which one do you use? So does that get like the oils off? Or? No, no? Th this okay. is just a general kind of like a detail, uh, waterless, 
And okay. you can use this. I use it in conjunction with the clay bar, oh, acting okay. as like a lube. Yes. They do. They do sell. It's literally called like clay bar lube. Sure. Honestly, it's the same thing. Okay. And uh, people have turned me on to that, and I've done it on multiple. It's the same thing. Okay. But you're right. So we will spray it down. We'll clay bar it real quick. The clay barring, especially on a new vehicle, I mean, y it can't do any damage, obviously, to clay bar. And the reason I like to do it, it helps you find those imperfections, right? Sure. You're getting real intimate with the paint and you're gonna find, and then what we're gonna do with the tape, if we see something we're doing it, we'll just tape it off. Okay. And we'll come back to it. Um, so then after we clay bar it, then what we're gonna do is we'll use this product. This is a Chemical Guys product, Wipeout. Nice. Uh, I believe I, it's just a general surface, it's a surface cleaner. I think it's got some alcohols in it. It basically gets everything off the paint. It's just a cleaner. Okay. Um, it technically, if you had wax, it could potentially strip off the wax, which sure. is what you want. Yes. Just to get the paint as clean as we want. So it's a quick spray down. We'll do that. And then what we'll do is we're going to jump to our buffing compounds. And we're going to start with what they give us is the C4, which is like a medium grade buffing compound. Uh huh. And we are going to use that in conjunction with the orange pad that they okay. also provide, which is medium, medium heavy cut pad. So these two okay. will go together. All right. And then once we do that, we'll jump to the P4, which is kind of like our, our uh, well, as it says, precision paint. Yep. Uh, this is our final polishing, and we will use the light medium polishing pad with that. The light pad, okay. In between each step, we'll make sure we'll just wipe this down real quick. We'll spray it, wipe it down, make sure we get any of this material off before we go to this one. And then once we get this one done, then we're ready to get to the final stage, which is laying down the ceramic coating. We'll do the same thing. We'll spray this down, make sure the car is really clean. And then we'll jump to their ceramic coating product. Carbon Force. Carbon right. Force. Uh, they say or they advertise it as a five-year product. I've used this now, like I said, on multiple different vehicles. It works great, easy to apply for the guys like us. I mean, you're gonna see, it's very easy. Okay. And then I had found in doing my truck and my wife's Tahoe, this other product, which ironically is by a company, Cerakote. When you think hear Cerakote, you think paint, right? Yes. So in the last, I don't know how long they've been doing this, I think that was a year or two actually, they have this product called Trimco, and it's a ceramic coating product for plastic. Oh, wow. And specific where I've used this, this, which let's back up, this we can use on glass, paint, and you know, the exterior plastic parts, anything that's got smooth finish. Uh, the headlights, taillights, like I said, windshields, um, wheels, wheels, calipers, anything, calipers, anything right. smooth surface, we will do this. Okay. Where this will come into play is, for example, because I have the factory front splitter, that kind of that rougher plastic, yes. we'll just do a quick wipe down of that. We'll put the wipers up, that, that black part yes. underneath there, we'll do that. The in, inner uh, fenders, mm -hmm. the covers, we'll do it there. And it's just a real simple wipe down. And this product I found works great. And then the last thing, you know, when we're all done, we'll let it sit for a solid 12 to 24 hours. It'll end up being 24 hours. Right. And after that, you're good to go. Um, I use a product, again, this is Chadwick's. This is what they call their Grand Slam. Okay. And what is that for? This is just your day to day maintenance. Oh, and okay. it just kind of yeah. freshens it up. Yeah. You know, it, it's made for ceramic coated vehicles. Okay. And again, Chemical Guys has their own product, Adams Polishes. There's a bunch yeah, of them out there. And I mean, pick happen. your poison, right? But I use I use the Chadwick as the D deal product for me. I've been using it for 10 years. The owner, Neil Chadwick, same deal, super cool dude. You call him with a question like I did 10 years ago, and he picks up the phone. You're talking to the owner of the company. Nice. Nice. So I, I just, I've always used his products and until it fails, I'm going to keep using it. But so yeah. as you can see, Darren is very prepared here. And I wanted to say this, but before I say anything, let's show his beautiful brand new C8. Did I say C8R in the beginning when I was introducing the video? I kind of think I'm... You get confused and put two yellow stripes on it. Make yeah, it I think I might have said C8R. So this is definitely not a C8R. This is just a normal C8. But it is a non Z51 uh, 2LT mag ride and front lift or no, no okay. front lift on this one. And then it's a convertible, hard top convertible, yellow seat belts, yellow calipers. Um, the mag ride was something I added kind of actually after talking to you. I wasn't originally going to get mag ride. And now, um, what do you think of mag ride? I would definitely get it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's I, what everybody says. Yeah, <laughs> I had driven a, a Z51 car for about 200 miles non-mag ride 
And and my comment on that was, this ride's pretty good. It's good. Right. And I remember you said something, well, wait till you try. I'm thinking, well, it's pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. So I took the leap. I'm like, all right, I'll get the mag ride. And I think I called you on the way back. I was like, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, you can and, tell. And we have mag ride on our uh, 2022 Tahoe and same deal. But you don't know the difference until you know, right. and then there's no going back. Right. You're right. There's so, right. but when you're, you're spending the kind of money we're spending on these cars, the, I think it's a, what, $1,800 option now? It is. You just, you're not going to regret it. No. You're just not going to regret right. it. So. I, and it's so cool that you can get it without Z51. Exactly. So, exactly. The other thing that I wanted to say is if you guys remember from a long time ago, I had a C6Z06 that I had ceramic coating done to. At that time, it was kind of a brand new thing to do. It cost me $1,800 to get done. And this is why we're doing this video today, because we're showing you how you can do it for a fraction of that cost. You can do it yourself. Don't be afraid, especially after you see this video. And there's plenty of do it yourself videos out there that you can watch as well. But we're going to show you step by step how to do it that way you can save literally over a thousand bucks if not i don't know how much it, the product costs but uh, yeah i think well my experience just ceramic coating through a professional you're a thousand two thousand dollars exactly and, and look we don't want to discount the professionals because no not at all what, what you're going to see it, it is a little labor intensive and i can tell you the last time i did my full-size truck about two hours in i'm like i would just pay someone to do it sure it, sure but that's huge though it's a big vehicle yeah. but but also i found out when i did my tahoe i had a buddy help me you get two people doing this yeah it makes it it cuts the time in half and yeah. it just makes it go by pretty quick and a car like this you know we'll, we'll be taking some breaks start to finish we're talking three four hours right you know and that's not going crazy all out yeah um, but yeah i guess you have to appreciate there's there's labor involved um but like we talked about the, with these do-it-yourself products with chemical guys they've targeted these products to guys like us and made it where it's easy for us to put it on and you yes. get a professional result like i said i've done a couple different vehicles super happy with the results uh it's easy to apply and you know for people that don't want to spend the thousand two thousand dollars and yeah. the cool thing is the products which we'll talk about as far as the cost realistically actually i think chemical guys which you'll have to link it up i was just looking this morning they have a deal where you can get the buffer the compounds, the two pads for literally one hundred and fifty dollars. That's amazing. And, and that, the buffer is usually that. Much. The buffer is like two hundred. It's like yeah. some special deal. Two hundred. Yeah. It's a torque uh, buffer. It's Sweet. everything you would need. And those buffing compounds. I mean, we're, you do twenty vehicles with those, sure. right? Yes. And even that ceramic kit, which cost about I think one hundred and forty dollars, you could do two full size. I was going to say probably two, two full size cars. vehicles. Yeah. Maybe easily two vets. Maybe even three vets. So. You know, you're talking, if you didn't own a buffer, and you, if you just came into it, you didn't own anything, you're talking 300 to $350 worth of with supplies. And then if, you know, you're set to help your buddies or loan right. out your buffer, you know, you know, for the future. So, sure. so yeah. All right, well, you wanna get started? Let's get started. All right, let's do it. By the way, that's Jacob over there. He doesn't like to be on camera, but he's gonna help out today. And he has the C8R. Yeah. Okay, so we're about ready to get started with the first step of the clay bar. Again, this is the Chemical Guys, guys uh, clay bar. They give you this one big block. I'm going to cut it in half since we're okay. going to do the team method here, and you're going to take a half, and I'm going to okay. take a half, and then we'll get going, and we'll Sounds take it from good. there. All right. Okay, so first step, we're going to get started here. I just did a quick wipe down. Uh, one thing we didn't talk about earlier, super these, these uh, terry cloths are from Costco. They work fine. You sure. You get any of them. Um, but what I usually do with the bucket that we keep kind of around, in the event these get too soiled, or especially if we start doing some of the other coats, we'll just toss them toss in the bucket. Enough. That'll be yeah. considered our dirty bucket. And then it's gonna happen at some point, we're gonna drop one on the ground. Sure. Just put just it in the bucket. Because yeah. you have a lot of them. We have a lot of them. And yeah. look, you buy a big package at Costco for 10 bucks. Right. The last thing you want to do is have some little piece of grime and you're yep. pounding it in then your paint. So yeah, that's not good. I just keep the bucket and we drop it, we throw it in there. And okay. Get going. So right now we're just doing the um, spray that actually helps kind of uh, give the lubricant to the clay bar. Yeah, and this is just kind of a quick, you know, cleanup. Even though the car was just washed yesterday, I did go for a short drive and there's just a little bit of dust on here. So we'll just get it real clean before we actually start doing the clay bar. Sounds good. Okay, so we're ready to actually start using the clay bar. We'll just kind of start with a little section here. I'm just going to okay. spray it down. 
really no rhyme or reason how much we're going to put on, just enough to kind of give it lube. Just face down with our clay bar, and it's as simple as that, just going back and forth. And as we get going, you can take the bar, move it around, you can scrunch it up. Your fingers are going to kind of form it to the paint. Okay. So it's just simple, simple as that, just back and forth. You can move along pretty quick. It's sure. Like it goes pretty quick, especially on a new car like this. You know, probably a little bit uh, of an extra step, but it's, you know, can't hurt. Okay. And then once you get done, simply just wipe it off. And then we'll move to the next section. All right, sounds perfect. You can see we're moving along here pretty quick. As we get going, you know, Mike and I split up the clay. It just kind of naturally forms to your fingers, which makes it easy to go around the different corners and edges and fit in there. And then, like I said, we're doing all the paint, we're doing the plastic, and we're even going up here and uh, doing the glass as well. And, and this is really good. The clay bar will get out any water spots that we have in the glass. You know, this sure. being pretty much off the factory line in less than two or three weeks. We don't have much of that and it's been sitting in my garage, but um, it still doesn't hurt just to make sure we get any little bit of sure. dirt or dust out of there. Now, one thing I did want to say real quick about ceramic coating is if you do a ceramic coat and you plan on wanting to do any kind of PPF, you have to do the PPF first because the PPF won't stick to the ceramic coating after you ceramic coat your car. So just keep that in mind. If you're planning on getting your car PPF'd, take it, get that done, then do the ceramic coating over the PPF. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. The other thing too, we'll talk about as we get going too, you have to almost make the commitment going forward when you clean the car, you really don't want to run these things through a car wash. Right, oh no, uh -uh. there's um, no reason to after that. You could, it's just, that's where you're gonna really beat your paint. Right. And you're just, you're, you're opening up the window to get more scratches that you've spent all the time yep. paint correcting. Um, so my advice would be don't do that. I mean, and if it's a touchless wash, yeah, that's yeah. one thing, but there's very few of those. Most of them have those. Yeah, and to <laughs> be honest, like my big truck, that's my daily driver, and you know, I take hunting and fishing, and it gets buried in dirt. I mean, I power wash it, and I've taken it through the machine washes that I just told you not to do after ceramic coating, just because it's such a big vehicle and it gets so dirty. Right. And quite, I just don't care. I'm just like, yeah. We just gotta get it clean. Yeah. But what I would suggest, and I have one over there, I can show everyone, is do the foam cannon. Yes. Super easy, and the foam cannons that I use. I'm actually only on my second one after five years. I just bought one literally a couple weeks back. You can buy an Amazon for $15, $20. You know, you don't need to spend a hundred dollars. Right, no. And power washer, you just need a hundred dollar, hundred fifty dollar power washer. Yes. 1400 PSI, the PSI doesn't even really matter. Right. And now I don't have any experience with them, but now they have foam cannons that you can just put directly in your hose. Yeah. It seems like those are fine too. I've, I've used one from Adams. Work pretty good. No. no. no it's I think the power wash, you just get that little extra yes. pressure to get the little foaming effect. Yes. But again, don't go crazy. You don't need a commercial grade, you know, four horsepower, 3200 PSI. Just go to Walmart, Home Depot, Harbor Freight. Just get yourself literally the cheapest power washer because that's all you need. Yeah. Just Agreed. Simple. Yeah. Okay, so Mike and I have finished clay barring the entire car. Now what we've done is we've walked over, we've got an LED light, we've just kind of walked over the entire car and we've looked for factory imperfections and we found a couple. This one's really obvious right there. See oh right there? yeah, I mean, yeah, you can see it. Yep, yep, see? yep, okay. Yep. So we've kind of walked around the car, we've got, oh, I don't know, seven or eight spots. You know, our, our best guess is probably when it came wrapped from the factory, yes. the guys that took it off, you know, just, you know, a little bit careless. We haven't found any high spots in the paint that I've actually found in other vehicles I've done recently. So we're good. So what we'll do is we will use what we talked about earlier, the wipeout as they call it. This is just the final cleaner. Okay. And we're gonna, we'll probably just do this to keep it simple in sections as we go. So we're just gonna spray it down. Similar to our other spray. Again, this is just the cleaner to take anything that's left on the paint, any of that clay residue in the event that there's a little bit left. And you can smell it. You can tell there's some sort of alcohol in there too. Yeah. You know, it just gets everything really clean. And Darren, that's the final step before the polishing, right? This is the final step before we start polishing. And as we polish in between steps, 
we'll do the same thing just to make sure I get so the different here. chemicals out with the different colors. Neighbor Mark's here for hey moral guys, support. Hey. So, uh, so there's no buffing of that. That's just a cleaner, right? That's this is just a simple cleaner. This okay. is a spray and wipe. Yep. Um, when that guys get together, they get together. <laughs> yes. We also have John over there. He's got a beautiful uh, blue C8. Okay. So we completed our general just spray down of cleaning everything, getting the paint exactly where we want it. We're gonna do our first polish, which is the C4, chemical guys, clear cut. Okay. Okay, real simply. We're just gonna put just a couple little drops. Just like that. Okay. You can do five, put that down. Just one quick spray. This is their pad conditioner. Okay. Just a little lubricant, just one spray. Do two sprays. We're gonna put it directly on the paint. We've got it set on the lowest setting. You can just kind of spread it on like this. Touch it. We'll just start with the hood here. Okay. And then we're gonna turn it on. Turn our speed up. We'll turn up to five. Put this behind us. Now we're ready to start to get going. going to keep repeating that on the different steps. He is to do a paddle at a time, right? Don't get too too far ahead of yourself. Do the yeah, paddle at a time. Yeah, just take your time. Take your time. Paddle at a time, even a section of the paddle. How you did this, and you can come back and do this. Exactly. Yeah. And we want to be careful when we get to the different edges and stuff, right? We don't want to spend a lot of time on those. Right. E yeah. Even though with their product, I don't think we're going to come into an issue where we start burning paint, but uh, traditionally that's where you would start to come into issues. Sure. Uh, the nice thing about their product, which I confirmed with them, it, it's it's friendly with glass, with plastic. Uh, like I said, so we don't risk having to tape this off. We're, we'll end up just actually polishing, polishing over it. And yeah, uh, my assistant. I just want I see a couple. Take off any. Uh, I want to see. Excess. Then I'm going to compare the look to it there to the spot that hasn't been done yet. You can tell that it's. Yep. Yeah, very nice. Mark always it's likes nice. to touch the paint. I know, everybody tells me that on the videos. Mark's touching the car. Hey, you got it. You're the reason at the car show they have those signs? Yeah, <laughs> it might be, it might be. No, no, no I don't touch the cars in the car show. You probably feed the animals at the zoo too. You're that guy, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, I'm missing a couple of fingers, you know. You can see when you're looking at the reflection here, that you might, you know, just look and then you see the reflection there. You can see there's an improvement there. Oh, yeah. Immediately see it Absolutely. Yeah, and this is just the first step. This is kind of the rough. We haven't even got to the fine tuning yet. So right. Yeah. This is just. This is where the magic happens. Isn't it? Okay. So Mike and I, we've gotten through the first phase of our first uh, buff job using that C4. Now we're switching to the Chemical Guys P4. And we're gonna use the uh, lighter buffing pad. And we're just gonna do the same thing, same steps. Sounds good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally to the final step here. Yeah, so we've finished our two coats of paint correction. The in, car looks fantastic. In that process, a couple of those little areas that we found, we put a little extra time into, and pretty much, I think we're pretty happy with the results as far as getting those little marks out. Mm -hmm. um, so overall, we're good. So real simple, the ceramic coating. We've got our pad, and this is all provided by Chemical Guys in their kit. We're just gonna put it on here like this, go back and forth a couple times, about three times. Okay, then we're gonna put it right on the paint. And literally, we're just gonna go back and forth. And I don't know, Mike, is the camera picking that up? Oh, yeah. And we'll just do a section. You can do pretty big sections. We can pretty much do half the hood. And literally, it, it is true with this, less is more. You really don't have to get crazy. 
and then we'll just go back and forth, just kind of hashtag. And then they tell you, once you get it on here, you know, wait about 30 to 60 seconds. A lot of it kind of depends on where you're at as far as temperature and humidity goes. Mm -hmm. We're probably on the 60 second would be my guess based it's about what 65 degrees today mm -hmm. and then what we'll do let me grab this light and see if we can see it okay flash oh yeah i see it see it the rainbow yeah you, you see, see the see rainbow it on camera okay, okay good yeah. perfect perfect yep. so once we do that and again you don't have to stress out if it's 30 seconds or a minute and a half it's going to be fine we take our clean cloth and we're literally just lightly going to just wipe it off that's it just like you would if you had put, you know, detail spray down sure. or anything else. And this is where, for me, and once we get going here, Mike will be helping me. It does kind of help to have a second person just kind of following you, just making sure you get everything off. And you can, you know, move the cloth. And that's it. Cool. And we'll just keep doing that. And again, we're going to do that to the entire car. We're going to do the headlights we're going to do the glass any of the plastic parts and it moves pretty quick probably take us about 25 30 minutes and we'll be done sweet okay so we pretty much wrapped up the ceramic coating between myself and mike putting that down and and jacob jacob um <laughs> i think yeah what do you think pretty seamless right pretty easy oh yeah yeah absolutely you know yeah i mean it's it's definitely not hard it's time consuming, but the whole thing is always going to be time consuming. But I mean, to take the time that we've taken instead of paying 1800 bucks or whatever right. it's going to be. Yeah. And you know, we were talking quite a bit as yeah. we along. So, I mean, yeah. that's why it's, it's good if you have a couple of your buddies helping you, it does make it go a little bit quicker. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so next thing we're gonna do kind of our last step, this is that Cerakote trim coating. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on these interior splash guards and we're gonna put it on the lower factory spoiler there, and then we'll put it on the inside under the, the front trunk area. Cool. And it's just as simple as you open it up. It's got these pre-moistened pads, and literally you're just gonna go back and forth, just real simply. And if you were to get some on the paint, no biggie, you just wipe it off. And again, the thing about this, this will kind of preserve that, you know, solid, rich black color yeah. to it. And then obviously going forward, washing the car and cleaning it, the, you know, the dirt will just come right off. Yeah, of it. it'll make it a lot easier. So that's awesome.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are finally finished with Darren's car. It looks absolutely incredible, as you saw there in the drone footage. It really looks amazing out in the sun. And now he's got a fully protected car. Like he said in the beginning, it's not like putting PPF on your car, but it still does give you some protection. And the biggest benefit of it is how much the dirt and debris that you pick up along the road just slide right off. and really makes cleaning the car a lot easier. So again, give uh, Darren a huge thumbs up on his beautiful new C8. And did you have anything you wanted to say at no, all? Or? Thanks, Mike, for helping. Yeah, like absolutely. Said, it, it definitely speeds things up having two or three people. And as you saw, we had a little bit of Mark help. And then we had amazing help from Jacob, especially with his camera. So yeah, that's going to wrap this up. If you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Leave comments down below. If you have any suggestions of ways to do things better, whatever you want to put in the comments down below. And if you don't want to miss a single one of these types of videos, make sure to smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you guys out on the road.